Months after an Iowa judge stepped down from his role on a nominating commission, a House Republican says he's pushing for an investigation into his actions. Local 5's Mary Sugden joins us from the State House with the latest on this new resolution. Last November, Judge Kurt Stoby was accused of making disparaging comments against multiple candidates in the running to fill a judge vacancy in the 2B district. Stoby served as the chair to that nominating commission, and once those allegations were made public, he stepped down from that role. The now House Judiciary Committee Chairman Steve Holt says confidentiality restrictions have kept himself and other lawmakers unable to confirm the validity of those accusations and what, if any, additional actions have been taken by the Judicial Qualifications Commission. He's introduced a resolution allowing the committee to investigate Judge Stobie's alleged actions. This resolution, if passed, would empower the Judiciary Committee to investigate these allegations and gain access to more information in order to properly exercise our oversight responsibilities. Holt made it clear this is not an impeachment resolution, but rather a move by lawmakers to access all the information. Have there been ethical complaints filed? Is there an ongoing investigation by the Judicial Qualifications Commission? Is there additional information out there that might lend itself to exonerating Judge Stobie or confirm or give greater strength to the allegations that have been made? I spoke with Democratic Representative Mary Wolf. She's the ranking member on the House Judiciary Committee, and she shared that she has some concerns on whether this resolution is appropriate or necessary. Now, she believes there is already a process in place to investigate alleged impropriety by judges by going through the Judicial Qualifications Commission. Now, she adds that once this resolution is filed, she will do her due diligence to look into it and ensure that it is not an attempt to inject politics into the judicial system. Reporting from the State House, Mary Sugden, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. Meanwhile, there are separate bills making their way through the House and Senate that propose changes to commissions nominating district court judges. Under the proposals, the governor would get six appointments for each 11-member commission. Under current law, she gets five. 